Hello, Grade Three. Our lesson today is about verb tenses. The tense that we are going to learn about is the simple past tense. So, what is the simple past tense? The simple past tense shows an action that happened in the past and it is over. Example: Yesterday, I visited my grandma. Or Last year, we traveled to the United States. So, how do I form the past tense? Most verbs show past tense by adding ed. Example: I planted the garden yesterday. The base verb is plant, so we add ed to plant to show that it happened in the past. Last year, my sister cooked. The base verb is cook. So we added ed to cook to show that it happened in the past. The boys wanted a bicycle last week. The base verb is want, so we added ed to want to show that it happened in the past. Now pay attention to something, guys. Some verbs end with the side, uh, with the letter e. Drop the e and add ed to form the simple past. Example: My grandpa liked my drawings. The base verb. Is like, and it ends with a silent e. So we drop the e and we add ed to show that it happened in the past. I waved at my friend to say hello. The base verb is wave, and it ends with a silent e. So we drop the silent e and we add ed to show that the action happened in the past. Maria baked a cake. The base verb is bake, and it ends with a silent e. So we drop the silent e, and we added ed to show that the action happened in the past. Pay attention to something else, guys. Some verbs end with a consonant and the letter y. So we have to change the y to i and add ed to form the simple past. Example: The bird tried to fly. The base verb is try. And it ends with a consonant plus the letter y. So we shifted the y into i, and we added ed to show that the action happened in the past. The babies cried loudly. The base verb is cry, and it ends with a consonant plus the letter y. Again, we shifted the y into i, and we added ed to show that the action happened in the past. So the general rule is: when I have a consonant plus the letter y at the end of the verb. We have to shift the y into i and add ed to show that the action happened in the past. Some verbs end with a vowel and the letter y. We only add ed to show that the action happened in the past. Example: Sammy stayed home. The base verb is a stay, and it ends with a vowel plus the letter y. So we only add ed to show that the verb happened in the past. They enjoyed the party. The base verb is enjoy, and it ends with a vowel plus the letter y. So we only add ed to show that the verb happened in the past. Now the general rule is: when I have a vowel, and the vowels are a, e, i, o, and u. Plus the letter y at the end of the verb, we keep the letter y and we add ed to show that the action happened in the past. The last attention, guys. Some verbs end with one vowel followed by one consonant and have one syllable. To form the past tense verb, double the consonant and add ed. Example: The machine stopped working. The base verb is a stop. And it is made of one syllable. Stop. We have at the end one vowel followed by one consonant. So we doubled the consonant p and we added ed to show that it happened in the past. We planned for our vacation. The base verb is plan. It is made of one syllable. Plan. We have one vowel followed by one consonant. So we doubled the consonant. And we add ed to show that the verb happened in the past. Now let's have some practice. Thomas studied hard for the test. The base verb is study, and it ends with a consonant plus the letter y. So we shifted the y into i, and we added ed to show that the action happened in the past. They 
cleaned all the classroom, we only added ED to show that the action happened in the past. The clown amazed the audience. The base verb is amaze and it ends with a silent E. So we dropped the E and we added ED to show that the action happened in the past. I played outside. The base verb is play and it ends with a vowel plus the letter Y. So we only added ED to show that the action happened in the past. The rabbit hopped on the grass. The base verb is hop and it is made of one syllable, hop. And we have one vowel followed by one consonant. So we doubled the consonant and we added ED to show that the action happened in the past. Thank you for listening, grade three.